When people speak of polyketides, they most often are talking about type 1 polyketides. The class is typified by very long carbon chains that are mostly linear. Unlike the type 2s, there will be no large, highly reactive soluble intermediate. Instead, the type 1s finish each elongation step while it is on the megasynthase. Each two carbon unit can be finished in one of several forms that includes alcohols of different chirality, olefins, and methyl groups. The black box description of the type 1 PKS is an enzyme that inputs a list of carboxylic acid and malonyl-CoA derivatives and outputs an elaborately structured carbon moiety. A great many starter units can be used. They all need to be CoA thioesters, but that is the only chemical requirement. It is common to have unusual and large starter units for type 1 biosyntheses. There is similarly some diversity around the choice of extension units. The most common ones are malonyl-CoA and its methylated derivative methyl malonyl-CoA. However, others including olefins, amines, ethyl groups, and chlorines are sometimes observed. Here we have an example of a PKS that illustrates many of the diverse features of the class. First off, there is no cycling of intermediates in a type 1 PKS like there was in fatty acid and type 2 PK synthesis. Each elongation step will be handled by a dedicated module of the synthase. Here you see six of these modules. At the primary sequence level, these modules do not necessarily correlate with polypeptides. This entire megasynthase is composed of four genes that do not correlate with the module boundaries. So we have one level of organization called modules that correlate with the addition of one malinate unit. Within each of these modules, there is another level of organization of domains, shown as the little circles, that each perform a specific step in the condensation and modification of each added monomer. Each elongation module encodes an acyl carrier protein, or ACP, domain, which is how the growing chain is attached to the megasynthase. Each ACP is modified with a phosphopantothene linker, which provides the thiol, which attaches to the growing chain as a thioester. Each domain also has a ketosynthase, or KS, domain. The KS selects the melanocoA derivative and attaches it to the ACP. It also catalyzes the condensation reaction between the growing chain and its chosen malinate. Note that we are doing the exact same chemistry we did before with fatty acid synthase, and with just a KS and an ACP domain, we get to this alpha keto molecule. If we were to proceed with a fatty acid-like synthesis, the next step would be to reduce the ketone with NADPH. Those modules that contain a keto reductase, or KR domain, will perform this reduction re reaction resulting in the alcohol. Since there are two stereochemical outcomes for this reduction, the KR is responsible for choosing which stereoisomer gets produced. The next step in fatty acid synthase was elimination of water to make the olefin. Modules with a DH or dehydratase domain will similarly eliminate water. Unlike fatty acid synthase, PKS modules can contain methyltransferase domains, or MTs, that will methylate newly formed alcohols. Because there needs to be an alcohol to methylate, a module with an MT would have a KR, but no DH. At the N and C termini of the synthase are the loading and thioesterase domains, respectively. The loading domains are responsible for choosing the first carboxylic acid that initiates the polymer. The thioesterase domains are responsible for releasing the polyketide from the synthase by breakage of the thioester linkage. Thioesterase domains solve the task of releasing the product in various ways. For example, the polyketide could be released as a free acid by hydrolysis with water, or it could be reduced off to a ketone. Here we have one that produces a macrolactam instead. An amino group in the starting unit attacks the thioester, producing an intramolecular amide and release. The loading domains for a PKS can be very simple, such as an ACP that loads acetyl-CoA or malonyl-CoA. In our example, we instead begin with alanine and serine amino acids. Amino acids aren't normally formed as CoA derivatives in the cell. Instead, adenylation domains use ATP to activate the amino acid for transesterification onto the megasynthase. 
the adenylation domains transfer the amino acid to a PCP domain. These play in the same roles as ACP domains in the other modules. There are some additional things like Psi and Ox that I still need to explain, and we'll come back to those later. Type 1 polyketide synthases do the same reactions that fatty acids do. They just don't necessarily do all of them, resulting in a diversity of oxidation states at each 2-carbon unit. Each module of the synthase corresponds to the elongation by one 2-carbon unit from a malonyl-CoA molecule. The modules are not reused or cycled through by the substrate. There are many choices of monomers for both the initiating acid and the extending malonates. The mechanisms of termination are also diverse and can result in large rings by intramolecular transesterification reactions.